Selling millions of copies and inspiring dozens of films, Roald Dahl's books are in constant demand at this bookstore. All the time, yeah. at least once a week. But readers of the new editions are in for a surprise after Puffin Books adjusted the author's words to make them more inclusive. A few examples. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's Augustus Gloop was enormously fat. Now he's just enormous. The Cloud Men from James and the Giant Peach, now Cloud People. A witch who works as a cashier in a supermarket now works as a top scientist. Although Netflix now owns the rights to the books, the tweaks to the language have been in the works for years. The rights holders are working with a group called Inclusive Minds, and here in the small print on the inside cover, you can see the goal is to ensure it can continue to be enjoyed by all today. Reaction has been swift. Author and outspoken free speech advocate Salman Rushdie called it absurd censorship. These kind of edits are not unprecedented. It's not unusual for, um, you know, publishers to go in and tweak language to be more reflective of the times. Roald Dahl himself was far from perfect. In 2020, his family apologized for his anti-Semitic views. The Roald Dahl Story Company, which owns the rights to the books, says the goal was to maintain the storylines, characters, and sharp-edged spirit of the original text. Some parents say they want to provide that context to their kids. That's perhaps what's you know, uncomfortable about taking words out is where is that dialogue going then? Suddenly right. we are uh, forcing uh, a non-conversation, which I do think is worse than having words that are perhaps um, uncomfortable or upsetting. Critics of these changes say we need to preserve the author's passion for prose while helping young readers draw their own conclusions. Eli Glasser, CBC News, Toronto.